From R-rated sci-fi to teen biker gang adventures, streaming platforms are locked in an intensifying battle for dominance in one of the entertainment sector's hottest and most lucrative mediums, anime. Fueled in part by the pandemic, the popularity of the cartoons pioneered in Japan has created a goldmine for streaming giants such as Netflix, Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. The global anime market was valued at $28.6 billion in 2022, according to Grandview Research, and is forecast to double in value by 2030. Globally, demand for anime increased by 35% from 2020 to 2021, according to industry specialist service Parrot Analytics. Recent years have seen Disney+, Plus, a relative latecomer to anime, start offering fan favorites also found elsewhere like Demon Slayer, Spy X Family, and Jujutsu Kaisen. Offering these titles is seen as a baseline and far from sufficient to win the loyalty of anime fans with increasingly diverse options available. Traditionally, Japanese anime emerges from production committees made up of publishers, TV broadcasters, toy makers and other industry players. These have long had a key role in broadening revenue possibilities for a series, from character merchandising to gaming. Netflix ruffled industry feathers when it teamed up directly with Tokyo Animation Studio production IG in 2018, bypassing the system.